sejahtera to some Muhammad Zulfikar bin Kamil and welcome to my video presentation. So first of all, my name is Kenny Kujana Riben and in this video presentation, I will present or introduce a few crop pests and their management, especially in oil palm plantation since the crop act is our country most important cash crop. So basically, this is the topic that will be discussed in this video. To begin with, let me briefly introduce you to the oil palm crop. The binomial name of the white palm plant is Elaeus guinensis. It is a species of palm which is commonly called oil palm tree but sometimes also called as African oil palm where the Elaeus is from Greek which means oil. Why the species name guinensis refer to its country of origin which is from Africa. Oil palm is the tropical tree crop which is the most valuable crop in Malaysia. Because of that, this crop is very very important because of their contribution to the country balanced trade position from the export revenue. Thereby, Malaysia became second after Indonesia which is the first producer of palm oil and its product. About 30% of national income is from oil palm plantation. So if the yield of crop decrease or is lost, it can cause significant negative impact to Malaysia economy. Yield loss may be due to many factors such as crop pests and the pollinator. Major pests in oil palm plantation are Begum, Venusian Hospital, and Red. Meanwhile, for the insect pollinator is like the Leiodobius cameronicus, where the population of this insect might affect the plant yield production. So that is why a proper pest management or control is crucial in this part, which I will present in this video later. So well, let's look for the first crop pest, which is in Pepam Begum, where its order under Lepidoptera and the family is Sassidae. The local name of this pest is Ulabungkus. The most important species are Metisa plana, Petroma, Pendula, and Mahasena Kobeti. It has been an oil palm pest in Malaysia since 1945 and became the most devastating caterpillar on oil palm. The biology or life cycle of this pest will complete its cycle in about 3 to 4 months. Moreover, 300 to 500 caterpillars have come on a single front. The existence of pests can be recognized through these few signs and symptoms, such as larvae build and live individually in a portable, portable bag named seal case until hatch. Also, the larvae will eat the upper epidermis of leaf as well as eating the whole portion of leaf blood. Hence, invested fronts will dry up and completely skeletonized, leaving only matrix. To eliminate or prevent this, few pest control and management can be applied. Namely, by using chemical control like trichrophon and esophet are used to control leaf miners, defoliators, and bedroom. The then fogging or tree trunk injection usually done for oil palm that is 12 years old and above. Mist blower can be applied to for 1 to 4 years old palm. Chemical control of trunk injection technique procedure is usually done by drilling a 0.8 cm diameter and 2.5 cm deep hole at 10 to 20 degree angle with a battery operated hand drill machine and they are using a chain jet syringe which pressure in 20 ml of pesticide co solution containing 6 ml of monocryptopus into the tree trunk at the height of 30 cm above the ground level. Then, draw the solution and screw it to the tree and 15 to 20 minutes to completely force the solution into the tree. Second control method is biological control agent. In Peninsula Malaysia, 18 species of Hypenterus parasitoid were reared either from the oil palm, Begu, Metisa plana, and Mehasena corbeti or from the parasitoid. Both Metisa plana and Mehasena corbeti share the common parasitoid such as Sakinus dicotemus, Hypenterus medese, and Cosmolites pitisep. A parasitoid is an organism that spends its larvae stash in another organism also known as a host. The larvae parasitoid to it fit only on the host and it develop and eventually kills the host. Culture control practices is a planting beneficial plants are good to provide food and shelter for the biological control agent and encourage their population in the oil palm ecosystem. Beneficial plants commonly found in oil palm are as follow Indigonan Leptopsus, Caesias cobenensis and Tonera subileta. Last method of controlling the oil palm bagum pest is through sensors. First, count leaf larvae and cocoon to this category. Young less, young is less than 5 ml, adult more than 5 ml and cocoon. After that, treat the block when the pest count more than 10. 
second best in oil palm is Rhinoceros Pitong. The order is Coleoptera from family Scarabidae and the local name is Kumbang Bada. The most important species is Oristes Rhinoceros because it will do serious damage to young oil palm tree. Due to that, the crop losses are estimated from 40% to 92%. When it attacks the plant, a 15 reduction in canopy size will reduce photosynthetic activity, delay plant maturity and reduce fruit punch size. The symptoms are signed by bitter damage by boring through young leaf base of palm feeding on succulent spell and the cabbage tissue. Hence, V-shaped gap in the leaf silhouette and triangular cuts on leaf. Also, the pest can cause second infection of fungi and bacteria. The second insect pest control of management is through cultural practices. It is a proper management of field sanitation could avoid sudden population outbursts. Cultural practices like deposits, thin debris enclosed in the trench, and eradication or destruction of the breeding materials. Also, by planting leguminous cover crop as a physical barrier to the breeding site, such as Centrosema pavensis and Puraria javanica. Thirdly, physical control or mechanical control by using pheromone trapping or mass trapping. Mass trapping using an aggregation pheromone with the active component like ethyl foam metal automate. It is popular among plantation managers due to its efficiency and economical value. Third, chemical control. Direct application of insecticide is not an appropriate technique due to bitter insufficiently exposed situation. Monocrotopos and chlorophyllophos are effective at both the nursery stage and in field trials. Unfortunately, chemical treatment still ineffective and it imposes health and environmental hazard. Last major pest in pipe plantation is the rodent pest. Order under Rodentia and from family Muridae. The major species in Malaysia oil palm plantation is Malayan field red, rice field red, and last is the field red or house red. The Malayan field red characteristic is to so far is vividly brown and white or yellowish winter. The tail is uniformly dark and it is a serious in oil palm plantation and dominant species, especially in major palms. The rice field red characteristic is commonly found in house. The dorsal fur is harsh, dark brown, the ventral light grey to dull reddish brown and the tail is uniformly dark. It is normally found in nursery and young oil palm. The field red or house red characteristic is dorsal fur is soft, brown and pale brown and the tail is uniformly dark. It is usually found in oil palm after 5 to 10 years of planting which then causing several damage to the bunches. It is normally associated to human dwellings and common in oil palm. Symptoms and signs caused by rodent pests toward oil palm are the pests feed on newly planted germinated seeds which will damage apical tissue of seedling fronds and bark. Also the petiole or front base of immature palms. Even the fruit like the mesocap and canna bark pose a disease male influence, loose fruit and unopened flower. So the first control and management method is through sensors. Monitor 3 monthly interval at every 20 block. The intensity of the sensors should be 1 row per 10 row per block. If five or more fruit on mature and immature but just been freshly damaged recorded, biological, chemical and physical control should be applied. Biological control is natural predictor but is a limited success, unreliable, unpredictable and cannot stop the outbreak by propagating the presence of palm oil in oil palm plantation. Therefore, nest boxes are installed for one box per 10 hectare of oil palm. It requires about two years to build up the adequate population of palm oils. Physical control can be using trapping devices, shooting, and hunting. So the last method of control and management of rodent pests can be using the rodent design to reduce the rodent population. For example, zinc phosphide worth adding 1% powder worth adding 0.05% and however, take note that the pest has problem of bad shyness and resistance toward the rodent design. Plus, it is a hazard to non-target organisms such as livestock, wildlife and palm oils. In conclusion, crop pests have continued to affect the production of crop and have a serious impact on the economic output of a farm. Therefore, farmers need to vary their management method depending on the crop they grow and pests they are susceptible to, since they affect crop differently. That's all from my video presentation and thank you.